Hey guys and welcome back to my channel for another update video for The Sims 4. If you guys do know, which I'm probably sure you guys have seen other people already post these videos yesterday because I happen to not know about the update because I haven't played my game at all today. Um, but there was a an update that came with The Sims 4. As you guys can see, there is this new like screen thing. I don't know if this is a permanent change or what but it is to celebrate the 15th anniversary of these sims 15 years of people making random people get together have families and make a family and just live a life of whatever you want to be it's like your world outside of the real world it's what you want your life to be and what you can do anything you want with it so it's a very very great game and all of us who play it really appreciate it but there is this new screen and with this update it's going to be a short one because there wasn't a lot that added to it there is a genealogy um factor that was added into the game which is like the family tree now if you guys do know it was not in the base game for the sims 4 and now with the anniversary of 15 years they added it and it came with a free um valentine's day um underwear set and decorations and just stuff to celebrate the um holiday that is here in f 10 days not even um but yeah we have this we're gonna go ahead and do a um new game we're gonna go ahead and just jump into a family and i will be right back so we can show off the new family tree so we have jumped into a family and as you guys can tell we are with the infamous bella and mortimer goth and their two children cassandra and alexander so what we are going to go ahead and do is show off the um family tree that came with the update and then we will go ahead and go through the new underwear that came with the valentine's day update or free content that came along with this update. So to find the family tree, what you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna go ahead and jump into the Symology or Symology, Symology um, tab down here in the bottom right corner. You're gonna click it and right here you can see the Genealogy tab. It is right next to your stats and the um, life age. I think they shortened this to fit this new button in. But it's right here, so what, if you, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to go ahead and click this right here. And it'll bring you to this nice colorful screen that we have. And right here you can see the family tree. Now, as a typical, like in The Sims 3, as your family grows, these brackets will go ahead and jump farther and farther. And soon, if you play the game long enough with the same family, um, like you'll see in a lot of people's legacy challenges is as the 10th generation goes it's just gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger and it's just gonna be sim after sim after sim after sim after sim depending on even how much you have for kids if you have two three four or even one the bracket will still grow but for the basics of the family tree it shows you um all about who it is what who they're married to if they are married and what their job is. So right here, we, if we choose on Bella, we have her name, Bella Goth, married to Mortimer Goth, and she is an intelligence researcher. And right here, it'll say, if you uh, hover over, you'll have husband, and then for the kids, daughter and son, and what their jobs are, which is their school. So they have school grades. And if you go ahead and click on Mortimer, it'll be the same kind of type of thing. Bella, you will be the wife, uh, she's an intelligence researcher and you're a freelance article writer, like perfect, married to a Mortimer. And then you have the daughter and um, son, Alexander and Cassandra Goth. And then if you click on the actual kids, you'll see the father and mother for the parents. And then for any kind of siblings, it'll tell you whether they have a brother or um sister or half brother half scissor sister it'll show half siblings and step parents along um or half parents like obviously they'd be your parents but um um but your half siblings or your step parents will show up in here i'm pretty sure it'll say step brother or half brother or step parent on theirs i actually didn't play enough or added any sims to their family to show that but i'm pretty sure it shows it on in there so that is just the basics of the um family tree and what it has to offer it's pretty simple pretty self-explanatory and very um very cool i know we've all been wanting it and the sims 4 
And um, now that we have it, we can go ahead and play with it because it did not come with the base game, as you guys do know. So we're going to go ahead and center over there. But yeah, it didn't come with the base game, but now that we have it, we can go ahead and just show the stories of our own personal games or if the ones, if you do happen to do videos on YouTube or anywhere, even stream it, you can see um, what the family tree is like and just experience all of that. And don't mind the background for this. I want to change it to something else, but I don't, I haven't found anything yet. But the accessories, is there accessories or is that from, no, it's from Outdoor Retreat. But for the sleepwear, is it in here? Did I download it? I thought I did. Right here. Here is the new underwear for it. So if you go ahead and change it, you got black, uh, the blue, the lacy colors, and the pink, and what's not. And then for the tops, um, is it... Was it that? I think it's this one, isn't it? I think this is the new one that came with that. I'm pretty sure. Um, there's nothing like um that shows you like, like the new stuff like this, like with um that contains new items and all that. But you do have just a simple bra and underwear for them, and then for full body, um, is it not in here? Dang. I could have swore I installed it. Um, is it not in the... I could have swore I installed it. Is it in the guys, though? Let's see. Um, sleepwear, bottoms, yeah, it is in here. I couldn't tell. I was, I was a little confused right now. But here is the new underwear for guys. As you guys can see, they have the hearts on them. And then you got fire. You got um, the pink with a kiss on the back. Yep, on the butt you got a kiss. And then you got the red hearts just for the Valentines. And then I don't think there's anything for kids. But for here... Um, I don't think there's any new full body ones, but there is the new top and bottom, which is this one right here. I'll make her in red because she is known for her red lingerie type style. There we go. Just a deep red, probably a brighter red. Yeah, there we go. Just a deep red, a nice little lingerie for them. And then for the kids, I don't think there's anything in here. No, you just have the same lingerie for the kids. I think it's for the bombs as well, too. Yeah. Yep. Same for the kids. And then did the boys get any? I don't think they did. Um, Are these new? Or did these come with? I think those are swimwear, right? Hold on. Um... No, I don't think there was anything that came with the boys for this at all. Nah. Looks pretty much the same to me. Just one more final note that I actually realized after finishing this video. For the lingerie that I did for Bella in this video, um, the bra was actually the wrong item that I actually showed you guys. So this one right here is actually the... Um, Real one, I just wanted to add this in just so you guys got the full display of what um, the patch gave you. So you have this one right here. And for the guys, we actually had the shirt as well that came into the game. Just, um, just to show you guys that I did miss some things and just to clear it up so you guys don't like yell at me in the comments if you do comment on this video. But I think that's going to go ahead and actually wrap up this update video. So if you guys did enjoy this video and are excited for the new things that have added into the game, go ahead and leave a like button below. And also, if you guys are um, loyal fans to The Sims and have been supporting them for the 15 years or for however long you've been playing, whether it be from The Sims 1, Sims 2, Sims 3, or if you're new to The Sims 4, we'll let that music play. There we go. 
um go ahead and leave a like as well if you guys are enjoying this um new update if you guys have played your game and if you guys are new to my channel or if you've seen a couple of my other videos go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below because that means the whole world to me and i will see you guys all in my next video bye guys